Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On uh, today's episode of the Green Bay and Western Lines, we're going to continue working on the Helix. Um, I've laid all the cork in the first level of the Helix in, so we're going to continue with the onto the second elevation of the Helix, and I'll explain to you guys uh, what we're up to. Okay, so where we left off last, I laid the cork for the helix on the first revolution. So I've added the second revolution layer on now, and I've laid the cork on it, and we're getting ready to lay the track on this section. But before I lay the track, I need to sand all the cork down because I don't want no undulation in the cork. And I want that nice and perfect before we lay the track on top of the cork. So before we get into the build, um, I've got a lot of personal emails sent to me about uh, the shirt that I'm wearing. So in all the other builds that I had, uh, my family members said that I looked homeless because I was always wearing my work clothes when I'm working on the layout. So I've commissioned a local person in my my hometown and she designed in these these shirts that, that i'm wearing so it was a test bed uh to see how they'll look I'm, i want to do some new ones with um some lettering and stuff on the shoulder so what i'll do is i'll put all her information at the end of this video i'll take a picture of her card and uh, you guys could see uh, her information and if it's something that you guys like you guys can give her a shout Okay, so I'm going to sand down all this, all the uh, cork that I have laid. Um, you don't need no fancy tools. I have this oscillating tool, so I'm going to use this to do the sanding. But you could do this with a regular piece of sandpaper on a, on a block of wood. So uh, I'll get to sanding this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now... Um, I've sanded all this down. There's no ridges or lips now. Um, I'm gonna vacuum this up. I'm gonna clean this up and then I can get ready to uh, lay the track. So I'll bring out all my track laying tools and I'll show you how I do that. So I'm gonna clean this up. I'm not gonna film the, the vacuuming and uh, we'll get ready for track laying. Okay guys, so um, continuing on. So our bottom level has all our track already laid. And now we're coming into the second elevation of the spiral. So all I'm gonna do is uh, make a connection. Now, when you make a connection with FlexTrack, um, I solder all my joints so I have a positive connection. So when you do a, um, when you're making the two curves work, you gotta have an, a nice straight section to do. So FlexTrack flexes only on one rail. So on the inside rail on here, uh, where you can see all the gaps, that's where the flex track can actually do the flex. If I was to try to do it on the opposite side, you could see that the rail retracts too far. So you need to make that on the inside. So I'm just using a Atlas uh, Code 83 flex track uh, for the Helix. So all I'm gonna do is make a connection here. So what I'll do is I'm gonna cut a little piece of the rail so I got my trusty rail nips here. I want to cut the rail square. I am going to file so I have a nice even spot for the connection. And uh, I actually use N scale rail joiners so that once they're on and you have the connection and it all uh, pretty much becomes visible, invisible. So 
So I'm just going to make the connection. Excuse my. So I'm going to set that up. I have my soldering iron plugged in, and all I'm going to do is just use some rosin core flux here. I'm going to make sure the connection was nice and clean. Oh, a little piece of Dallas hair. Get my soldering gun over. Sure, it's a nice connection on. Need a little bit more on this side. There we go. So now that I have a nice solid connection. Now we can go ahead and this is what we'll do is we're going to just continue all the way along with that to make our helix rotation. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue on doing like I've done. Uh, the only other thing, it doesn't matter what you use to secure the track. Uh, I know that in that dead center where the, the halves of the cork came together, that's the center of my rail. So I just go along, I lay my rail all the way along keeping the center in line. And uh, what I do to secure mine, I just drill the outside of the ties. And then I put, uh, I just have these little, the, you know, the micro-engineering micro spikes. So what I just do is I, I tack the rail down with uh, micro spikes. I've seen everything done where they've used a screw in the center with a, a washer. It's whatever you find that you need for that. It works whatever works that, that works for you is all good. So yeah, you just file, make sure that your connection's nice. I don't have no, uh, no raises, no bumps. So I'll continue this on and uh, we'll come right back. So we're just laying the flex track. This is all track that was recycled from my uh, layout that you guys can see in all those old videos that I had. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as the tracks engage, majority of the ties are there. You can see like there's still old soldering from the wires and stuff. But well, it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, just continuing, continue laying the track all the way around. As long as you maintain that center for the center of the rail, it'll all work. So I'll just keep carrying on. So I've laid the rail now. Um, I'm getting ready to set it so that we can do raise the elevations and uh, we'll get to that next week. But just wanted to show you like in each corner, I've now drilled a hole and I've put my thread rod. So all I've done is just cut a bunch of pieces right now. Um, this is what I'm just using to hold everything together so that nothing's moving when I'm setting up my helixes. Um, you can see there's easily enough room for two tracks on this. If I would have pushed the track over, there would have been no problem. Uh, the only thing maybe I think I would have done differently, I'd probably add about another inch so that I can add, uh, add the thread rod out to the side. Or maybe even, say, half of that piece, leave a nub that if I would do things differently. But, uh, yeah, so there you have it. I just um, I laid the second piece to the second uh, elevation of the helix and uh, next week we'll start to set uh, the grades so we gotta make our uh, elevations between each layer and then we can start setting up uh, the thread rod so that it holds everything nice solid in place 
So um, thanks for joining along, and uh, we'll get you guys next week.